I am so glad that I gave Wantable a second chance because I have ordered yet another special style edit. So let's find out what is in the Sunny Escape edit. Hey, hey, divas. Welcome to my channel, Dress Like You Mean It. My name is Andrea and I do unboxings and shopping hauls and clothing try-ons. And if that sounds like fun to you, then please subscribe and stick around and see what I got in my new box. So this is, let's see, how many Wantables have I gotten? I think this is like my fourth. Um, and this is the Sunny Escape which sounded great to me because I haven't been on a sunny escape for almost two years. And as it turns out, between the time that I ordered this and when I got it today, I have booked my first trip in almost two years. So we have a vacation scheduled for Mexico in a couple months because I got my first dose of the vaccine 10 days ago and I will be fully vaccinated by the time we go on our trip. Now I did have to wait a while for this box to arrive. It was supposed to arrive on Sunday. Well, this is what was happening around here on Sunday. Yep, we got an epic snowstorm. Where I live, we got about two feet of snow and in the Denver area, it was the fourth largest storm ever. So it was supposed to come Sunday, obviously didn't come Sunday, didn't come yesterday either. But today is Tuesday, it's here, let's find out what's in it. It's heavy, it's, it's not that big of a box, but it's got some weight to it, so I am super excited to see what's inside. So Wannable is a styling subscription service. Um, they charge a $20 styling fee. They send you seven items. They have two regular edits. Um, they have their style edit, which is just, you know, a mix of clothes. And then they have their active edit, which is um, workout wear and loungewear. I've never gotten that. They also do special edits. It seems like pretty frequently. And I did the chill chic and like that one a lot. So I have high hopes for this. All right, so you open it up and they personalize the stickers. It says Styled for Andrea and it is a big, big bundle. Let's see. Ah, it is heavy. It is heavy. All right. That's the bundle. What's in it? Some pretty colors. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. We've got some denim here some pink something, some pretty blue and black and gray and white pattern, a blue sweater. Uh, this is, it looks like it might be a jacket. Something kind of a, I don't know, blush colored. And then that looks like a gray soft fuzzy thing. All right, I'm excited. All right. And this is um, return label, UPS. You can also do the post office. They send you a bag for that. And I think inside here is prices and a note from my stylist. So before I read that, I wanna look first. All right, so on top we have a pair of denim. These are Mavi and they are Kathleen. Um, and they, High Rise Slim Boyfriend Jeans. Now, funnily enough, in my last stitch, which I got just a few days ago, I got a really cute pair of boyfriend jeans that I liked a lot. So they've got the cuffed hem. I don't do distressing, so there is no distressing. And they are size 27. Um, they're made of tensile, which tends to be a really soft material. So I'm excited to try those on. Not sure I need two pair but of uh, boyfriend jeans, but these are, um, they are a different wash than the ones that I got. And it says feather blue, eco-friendly, all vegan jeans produced with tensile and recycled cotton. I didn't know that jeans couldn't be vegan, to be honest. All 
All right, next up we have got shorts. Oh, dear John, these are pink. They, they look like they might be a mid-rise. They have a cuffed hem and pockets in the back, pockets in the front, and what are they called? I don't know what they're called. They're size 27, but I am excited to try these on. I haven't had shorts on in so long, and that is, they would be perfect for my trip. So I am super excited about that. All right, and then next up we have, I'm going to guess it's a shirt. It is a shirt by Love Appella, and it is sleeveless. And it's in this pretty print. Um, it looks like a, a fairly high neck, and it's got this tie in the back. So it's nice and soft. Let's see what it is made of. 95% rayon and 5% spandex, and it is a size small. Now that's cute. I, I, I think that's cute. It looks like kind of a loose, flowy fit. All right, next up, is that a thread? No, it's just a stray thread. Okay, this um, is a hoodie, and it's like in a, a tie-dye. I'm not into tie-dye, but that's kind of cute. And it's got the hood. The sleeves are like this loose-knit sweater material, and then the body is just a regular knit, and then there's ribbing at the bottom, ribbing at the cuff, and a little bit of ribbing around the... See, I'm not in the tie-dye, but that is a really, really pretty blue. So we will definitely give that a try. It is a size small, and it is made of 100% cotton, which I love. All right, so... Probably wouldn't take that to Mexico because it would be way too hot, but I'm excited to try it on. All right, this looks like a jacket. It is, it looks like a, it's a small Kenzie called, they call the color Pebble. And let's see, it is a combination of snaps and zip. So you're going to get a workout putting this on and off. It's got the little things on the shoulders. It's got snapped pockets up here and down here and on the sleeve. And just a, looks like a gentle little bit of elastic on the cuff. So it's got seams all over the place. Not really my style, um, but I will definitely try it on so that we can see how it looks. All right, next up is, it's kind of a color block. Let's see. This is by Staccato. And it's got like an animal print and then a striped and then kind of an orangish color and a V-neck. Short sleeves with this little striped kind of cuff. Um, it's soft. I'm not sure this is my style either, but it is, what's it made of? 68 polyester, 28 rayon, and 4% spandex. Okay, I'll try it on. I mean, it's not something that I would pick off the shelf that I would choose to try on. Um, I'm not just into that kind of different blocking. But that's part of the reason we do these boxes, so that we can, you know, try on things that we might not have thought of, and sometimes we fall in love with them. Okay, I think this feels like another hoodie they sent me. Um, this is Ocean Drive, and it is in this very, very pretty... Oops, it's one of those little silica packets. Pretty um, heathered blue and it feels like a brushed knit, and it's like your typical where it's brushed knit on the outside and then just kind of that smooth knitted on the inside. Um, I wonder, I'm gonna have to check if it's by the same person who has the other hoodie that I got from 
I'm pretty sure it was wantable, and I actually wear that hoodie all the time. And I'm gonna say it's probably not because these little ties are different, but I, I wear that hoodie all the time. Um, when I work out, it's perfect. And I love the color of this. This is almost like a, it's a brush knit, but it feels like a sweater material. So I will definitely try that on. So the only thing, I guess the two things that scream sunny escape to me are the shorts and the sleeveless top, but I will try on everything. Um, just got my hair cut today, so it's a little bit short. It's, she, she never styles it quite the way I like it, so it's a little, my hair's a little wonky today. I will show you my outfit of the day, and then we will start with the try on. So I did go out today. I went to get my hair cut, and I went to a physical therapy appointment because I've got some tendonitis that um, they're helping me with. And today I am wearing the plaid, I think these are Liverpool that I got, I think in a stitch fix, and I love them. They're, they're fun and different, and then this top goes with it, well, I wear it with it, and I think I also got this from Stitch Fix. And then these are, I believe these are Aquatalia waterproof boots in black and burgundy and silver. So this is the top. It's got this ruching. It's a three-quarter length sleeve. It's just a nice, you know, soft material. I've got my Etta Jane necklace on. Um, I'll try to remember to link that below because it's a really nice small boutique jewelry company. So it's just a straight hem. These are the, the pants. They're fake pockets in the front, real pockets in the back. And they're this black and burgundy plaid. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but. All right, I'm excited to do this try on. I'll be right back. So we're starting with the shorts. I was gonna pair them with that blue sleeveless top, but I decided it would style better with just a plain t-shirt and just some um, little, uh, what do you call these? They're, they're just little tennies, but they have a kind of an eyelet pattern on them. You won't be able to see that, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm not sure what I think about these shorts. Um, and it may be just it's been so long since I put on a pair of shorts, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to look in them. Excuse my white legs, I obviously am not seeing any sun. Um, so they've got pockets. They are, I'm gonna guess they're probably about a, probably a five inch. And then they've got the cuff. Um, they feel a little loose and baggy to me. So what do you think? I just paired them with a plain white V-neck from White House Black Market. But let me pan this down a little so we can focus on the shorts. Are they too, are they too wide? Are they too baggy? I like the color. I, like I said, I just haven't worn shorts in such a long time. I'm just not sure anymore how they should look. I mean, they're comfortable. They're just a pair of shorts. They're, um, my belly button's there, so it comes about a, you know, an inch below my belly button, so a mid-rise. What do you think? Tell me what you think of these, because I am a little bit on the fence and I'm really trying to be more intentional about my clothing choices. And I would love to know your opinion on these. All right, let's try something else on. Next up are the boyfriend jeans and this pretty blue top, which I have a mixed reaction to. So let's talk about the top first. It's tie-dye, which I'm not really a fan of. It's, I mean, it's pretty. I think the blue and the white are really pretty. I'm not a fan of hoods. It's like, I feel like it, it looks messy. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't lay super nice. I love this. My camera's doing weird things. I love this, um, this kind of loose 
knitted detail. I really like that. I was actually even trying to think, gosh, I wonder if I could take the hood off, but then I think it would look weird. So I, you know, as much as I love the color of this and even don't mind the, the tie dye, I just don't like hoods. And I've told them that actually, I, you know, the jeans, I know that boyfriend, they're incredibly soft. Okay. So let's say that for them. And I know boyfriend jeans are supposed to be looser, but I think these have traveled into the area of baggy. So there's like, I mean, look at how much extra material is in the front there. And in the back, this is, you can see, it's just, um, they're baggy. They, they're, they're not just loose, they're baggy. So I think this, let's see the back. I think this outfit, unfortunately, is a no. I had actually high hopes for it, but I've mentioned before that I do intermittent fasting and I started to lose weight and I'm ready to not lose any more weight because <laughs> I think um, my clothes are gonna start getting too baggy. So, uh, as soft as these jeans are, as pretty as this blue is, I think that this is a thumbs down. Let's try something else. So this is a sleeveless top and I paired it with some skinny jeans and just some cute flats that I have. I don't feel like this is a flattering fit. I did not feel like putting on a strapless bra so I just tucked my straps in. It's very soft, it's very soft. It's just a straight hem, loose, flowy. I thought this was gonna look cute this neckline, there's the back with the tie. It just, it, it, it's not that flattering on me. My husband agreed. It's, um, it's a fun print pattern, whatever you want to call it. But it's, it's, it's too loose. Like that would be, that would be super cute. That would be super cute. Hmm. You don't want to buy something and start thinking, oh, how can I alter this? Um, but I think that actually would be, if it was tight, that would be a really cute look. That would be very flattering, but this, not so much. All right, let's try on this hoodie, which would be great for working out, and it would be nice to have another one. So this is very similar to a rose colored one that I got. I don't think they're made by the same company, but uh, I'll have to check. So that's the back. It's just a hoodie. It's just a soft, cozy hoodie. We'll see how much it costs, but I like the color. It's, so I love the softness and this is a definite possibility. Got the matching color ties. I know for some people that's a big deal. And it's got, you know, a little bit of ribbing here and here and a little long for me in the arms, but I can pull it up. So this I think is, is a definite maybe. All right, I have two more pieces and then we'll be done trying on. This is that top, I left the same jeans on. Can't say I'm thrilled with this either, it just, baggy, loose. I mean, it would be good for just a lounge around the house day, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. It's soft. It's very soft. Um, sleeves. They do that wingy out thing <laughs> that I don't love. It's got the animal print and then the stripe. And I'm not so into that blocking effect. This is actually kind of like a heathered um, peach. So really loose and, and I just, it, you know, I had asked for tunic length things because I would like to have some things I could wear leggings with and this would certainly fit that bill, but it's, it's too loose and not, I mean, things can be loose and still 
look nice, but I just feel like this is loose and doesn't look that nice. Let's try the jacket. This reminds me of like a safari jacket. So that's with it open. It's around just below the hips, kind of. And then if I wanted to zip it up, so it hits at a good length on the arms, I think, not too long. Um, let me go ahead and tuck this in just a little bit. I don't like it. I, I don't find it that flattering. I kept a, a jacket about this weight from Stitch Fix a couple months ago, even though I knew I wasn't going to be wearing it at the time. But I thought it would make a nice spring weight jacket. And I just, I'm not feeling this one. I like these clothes a whole lot better coming out of the box than I have liked them on my body. So let's do prices and a recap. I need a drink after that try on. I'm not going to lie, Divas, I was disappointed. Now I can't remember if I said it before, but just so I don't forget, I would love it if you would subscribe and if you found this video fun or useful or helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up, hit the notification bell. All right. Uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what my stylist said. Ayla, I think that's a new one. I don't think I've had her before. Hi, Andrea. So excited to style you again. Oh, I guess I must have. You are going to love this limited time Sunny Escape edit. It's one of the most fun themed edits we've done so far. This collection is packed with cute styles that feel great whether you're enjoying a vacay or a staycay. Plus, I wanted to make sure I styled you with pieces you can wear now and all through summer. Those Hampton shorts you requested is one of our best sellers because the fit and quality makes them a wardrobe staple for the warmer months. I also chose the utility jacket for a lightweight layering piece and the tie-dye hoodie for some trendy pattern. Can't wait to see how you style these pieces in your unboxing videos. I'm sorry, Ayla. I appreciate the effort. All right, first up is the tie, by, tie, tie back halter tank in chambray gray geo, geo small la vapella this is 44 dollars i didn't it's super soft i'm going to try to say something positive about everything it's super soft i i did like the pattern um i'm not a print girl but i, I kind of like the the geometric pattern of this i did not like how it fit however you know, I hate to spend $44 on something that I am going to have to majorly alter, but I did think it would be super cute if it was just more of like an hourglass shape than that kind of loose fit. So tell me if I'm crazy. Just leave me a comment and let me know if you think that idea is totally crazy. Okay, so that was $44. The Kathleen Boyfriend in mid feather blue 27 these are 88 dollars they're by mavi and they are super soft you know they were just too big there was that it was just not a good fit and i don't know if sizing down i used to wear a 28 and more recently 27s have been fitting me well although my 28s still fit pretty well depending on the the jean so it would make me nervous about sizing down to a 26. So these are going to go back because they just, they did not fit well, did not look good. The tie-dye hoodie in denim is $69. And though I did like the color, I am not a huge fan of tie-dye. And I'm pretty sure I've said that. I thought this loose weave detail was super cute. And I love that it was 100% cotton. Um, that didn't make it super soft, but after washing it might. I just, I'm, I'm not, I, I've said, you know, I don't like hoodies, pullover hoodies. And that is $69, so that's definitely going back. So that is a no. The utility jacket is not my style. This is $68. It's by Kenzie. Kind of reminded me of like a safari jacket. It's not my style. I didn't think it looked good at all. So that's going back. 
The leopard printed color block top in ivy blush is $44. Very soft. Um, again, I, it, too loose and it, it just wasn't an attractive look on me. So that also is a no. The Hampton short in blush, $58, dear John. I am, I am on the fence. I obviously requested this and I just don't, I was, I really need to know your opinion on this. And am I, are they too short for my age? Are they too loose? Like I said, I'm trying to be more intentional about the clothes that I buy and I did not feel like these looked awesome. And they were $58, which for, you know, a nice pair of shorts, that would be worth it. And they're well made, don't get me wrong. I just didn't think they looked amazing. All right, and then we have left the brushed Hachi Zip Hoodie in Heather Blue. This is $48. This is also something I requested and I'm gonna keep this. It's soft, it, it's a, you know, it will make a nice workout hoodie. Uh, I could also, you know, it could be something I could just throw on on the weekend. So this is a for sure, this is a maybe. I'm just thinking I might be crazy to buy a $44 top that I have to alter and who knows even what the results would be. Even as I say that, it sounds ridiculous. Is that ridiculous? Let me know in the comments. And then the, the shorts I'm undecided about. I will probably try them on again tomorrow and, and then make a decision. So the merchandise total, the stylist total came to $419. If I kept five things, you get a 20% discount. So that would take off almost $84, bringing it down to $335.20. And then the styling fee credit, which I've paid. It's not, it's not like I'm getting that off. I have paid that already. And then sales tax, so it would come to $340.89 if I kept everything, which I'm not going to do. All right, so let me know what you thought. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why not? What are you waiting for? And let's see, I have a short story coming. I don't know if I have a regular one of coming or not. I think I need to go shopping. I, I definitely want to get some things for our vacation in Mexico. So I think it might be time to venture out um, when it's been two weeks since I've gotten that first vaccine. I know that provides you with some pretty good protection. So I think I will probably be going out to do some shopping soon. And until my next video, divas, remember, dress like you mean it.